Hello everyone. Before we dive deep into machine learning algorithms, I felt the need to discuss two important uh, aspects about machine learning. Of course, there are tons of important aspects, but uh, these two uh, facts help us to get started. And the first being different types of uh, machine learning algorithms and uh, the problems that they are trying to solve. And the second one is the generic structure that every machine uh, learning algorithm shares. So first, uh, let's see the different types of machine learning algorithms. Machine learning algorithms can be broadly classified into two categories, namely supervised learning and unsupervised learning. In case of supervised learning, you label the data and in case of unsupervised learning, the data is unlabeled meaning that uh, the algorithm should uh, figure out and uh, classify that particular data set on its own. Whereas in case of supervised learning, you are giving a label data set to the algorithm, meaning that you give both uh, the input and the desired output to the algorithm. Let's uh, uh, look into an example of this. This is the most uh, popular database for uh, supervised learning. Basically, it consists of handwritten digits. And uh, all these uh, data sets uh, are labeled, meaning that uh, if I pass this particular subset into my algorithm, and uh, when I pass it, I'll be passing the values inside this small image and also this image will contain a label uh, stating that this particular data subset is zero. And uh, similarly, uh, if I'm sending this particular subset, uh, it will contain a label uh, say stating that this uh, corresponds to three. So basically, I'm uh, feeding both input and the desired output to the algorithm and uh, this is uh, supervised learning. In case of unsupervised learning, you don't uh, feed the data with the desired output, you just feed in the data with the input vector alone. Now let's uh, look into what a machine learning algorithm tries to achieve. So basically I have uh, input and I have an uh, set of uh, outputs. So basically my machine learning algorithm tries to find a relationship between the input and the output. Meaning, uh, so it tries to find out a mapping function. So for a set of uh, given inputs, what's the corresponding function that can map these inputs to the desired output. There are various stages uh, involved when you are writing your machine learning algorithm. The very first step is to pre-process your data. This step includes uh, finding uh, any missing values, normalizing your data, etc. Once you are done with this stage, you split your data into two, one for training and one for validation. The training data set is used for training your algorithm and uh, validation set is used to uh, evaluate how well uh, the model performs in the unknown data set. After splitting, you send the training set data to the algorithm. You train the algorithm till you find that the loss is being converged to a single point. Uh, in most cases, uh, uh, especially in deep learning, you have a lot of converging points. We'll discuss uh, these points later. But the general idea is your loss should be convergent. And uh, once you have a minimum loss, you move on to uh, the next stage. You uh, stop training the algorithm. And uh, finally, you find, measure, evaluate the accuracy of the trained model. So this is the essence of a machine learning algorithm. Uh, in case uh, you could not follow it, uh, no worries. Uh, so uh, from next lecture onwards, I'll be discussing uh, 
algorithms directly and uh, writing the code so it could make things uh, better and clear for you and uh, have a nice day thank you